Oh, we see you. Lord Christmas. Standing ovation. <laughs> Lord Christmas has been a, uh, a gift presenter from the very beginning. Um, he used to be very young and he's getting older and older. Can you, can you talk, Lord Christmas? We're very happy you're here. How are you feeling? You're yeah, okay. I'm so happy to be here. This is my first time coming here. I've been hoping to be here like this year, but this is a good opportunity to share this experience with you. I'm so happy. I don't know how to express that in words. I'm so happy. Are you feeling okay now? Yes, I'm so happy. I'm very okay. Okay, good. We're so happy that you finally made it here. So, Lord Christus, so here's what happened. We weren't sure Lord Christus, Lord Christus could actually be here live. So he sent me videos and pictures, and I put them together in a PowerPoint. So, Lord Christus, we can do three things. You can give a presentation totally on your own live, okay? Um, I can show some of your pictures, and you can talk. <laughs> Or I can okay. show pictures and I do the talking and you can answer questions. What would you like? Yeah, okay, I think you have to give the presentation and answer the question. Okay, so I'm going to give the presentation. But Lord Christus, whenever you want to interrupt me, please do that. Okay. Don't be polite. Okay, so this is Lord Christus, Lord... Okay. Inventions, imagine, inspire, and make real. And he is from Ghana. So let's... My name is Lord Christus. I'm 16 years of age. I'm from Ghana and I am an inventor. That was years ago when he was 16. Lord Christus, how old are you now? Almost 19. No, almost 19. Oh my goodness, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> And that is in what, Twi? Yes, that is an language. Too. Okay. And this is where he lives, or used to live, but now you are at the university? Yeah. And he is not only a wonderful inventor, he is also a musician. <laughs> And you can see he's, he's got a, a, an audience that is very excited. Um, Lord Christus, when he comes up with an idea, he plans it. This is one of his, I think this was a, a, a water purification system that he, you had made, right? Yeah. But detailed drawings and diagrams of what he's going to do and how it's going to work. He has made many things. I'm going to just quickly show. This is one of his um, inventions. What I love about this is you'll see that he's not using exotic materials. He uses lots of wood and cardboard because that's what he has. And once again, the reason I'm mentioning that is in the United States where I live, they often think, oh, you have to spend a lot of money. You need all kinds of real expensive materials to do this. And the answer is no, you don't. You can use just plain materials and do really good work. Lord Chris, it's anytime you want to interrupt me, please go ahead. Okay. Here's one of his inventions, one of his devices. By the way, if you go to the um, GIFT YouTube um, website, GIFT YouTube channel, we have all these past presentations by Lord Christus on there. So you can see in much more detail what this is and how it works. Another device that he had made. One of the things you'll see is always his devices are not to make money. His devices are to help people. Everything he's done is there to help people. A food, health, and storage device. And this was something else for food. Okay. But what has he been doing lately? So this is the lights out indicator. This is a small user programmable device that gives a prompting signal in many different ways, depending upon what suits the user when there is electricity, 
and when it goes out. The reason for creating this is to help save electricity and make things quite easier. Here in Ghana, we have a lights out issue since our electricity goes out without notice and it can damage home appliances when the electricity goes off and on. Bedrooms also become incredibly warm as we already have hot outside temperatures. Ghana doesn't have enough power, so the electricity in some places will go off and others on and it shifts subsequently. In many homes, so that they know when electricity is back on, they turn on fans, lights, and TV sets. But this wastes a lot of electricity. Not only do we lack continuous electricity, but the price of electricity keeps increasing. So my invention will prompt its users when the electricity is on and when it is off, depending on how the users want the device to function, and it saves much electricity. The device is also safe and portable. Once again, Lord Christus is helping people. Hello, my name is Lord Christus, and I'm here today to make a presentation of my invention for the Global Innovation Field Trip. This device is what I named the Lights Out Indicator. This is because mostly here in Ghana, we are having an impromptu power cut. And it is not a problem from the homes, it is a problem from our electricity source. The country is unable to supply electricity to all districts at the same time. So sometimes some districts have to uh, get off while others will be on. So mostly in many homes, when electricity goes off, parents will tell their kids to stay behind and then come back to tell them that the electricity is back on or to give them any update whether the electricity is back on or it's still off. And sometimes too, they have to leave their TV sets plugged and sometimes their radios plugged so that whenever they hear a sound, they understand that the electricity is back on. But I know that that's going to waste electricity and on the part of their kids, it's going to be a stress on them also. So to solve this problem, I decided to introduce this device. So this device is going to prompt you and let you understand when electricity is on or when electricity is off based on how you program it. So let's begin to see how it works. So first of all, we see that there's a plug over here, which we connect to the socket. So let's switch it on. So when we switch it on, we see that there's a green light and the green light means there is power in the whole circuit. So whenever you see the green light, that means you can begin to program it. So now when you draw nearer here, we understand that we have two main switches here. That is number one and number two. So number one is that when the electricity goes off, the device should notify you with a red light. And number two is that when the electricity goes off, the device should notify you with the sound of a buzzer. So now let's program it that it should notify us with a light. Now let's switch it off so that, so that the electricity will be off. So the green light will go off in a few seconds and afterwards the device will wait for a few seconds to detect if there's no flow of electricity again, then it will prompt you with a red light. So it is waiting. Now we see the red light. So that means that the power is cut. So whenever you see a red light, uh, if you program it to show you with a red light and you see the red light, that means your electricity is off. So let's switch it off and see with, with a buzzer. The electricity is still off. So now with a buzzer. So. Okay. Now, let's say you don't have a plug. Uh, you don't have a socket that looks like this. So you can use a USB also. So let's switch on the USB also to see how it's going to work. Okay, so when you switch on the USB, you see an orange light over here. And the orange light must tell you that the USB is rather connected and not the... There's a little video problem, but but let him go on. I must tell you that the USB is rather connected and not the plug. So now it is at indication level. So you switch it to the next stage that is at standby. And then you switch it again to power on. So on power on, then you see that the green light is back on. So when you see the green light and, the, and then the orange light at the same time. So whenever you see the, the orange light and the green light at the same time, that means you are having power from the USB source. That must tell you that. So now, so when you see these two, you can still begin to program it. You can program it to notify you with a light. Okay, so let's turn off the USB. When you turn off the USB, then we understand that the lights are off and it is, it is showing us the indication that there is power card from the USB. So you turn it off again and then you can decide to use it and then it's going to notify you with a buzzer. Okay, so 
when you turn to the back we understand that we have uh, a 9 volt battery and that is used to power the buzzer and then the indication lights that is the green light so the next features that i'll be adding to it is that uh, i'm going to add another feature so that the device will call me on my phone to tell me whether the light is off or whether it is on and also i'm going to make the 9 volt battery at the back also rechargeable so that i don't have to go around and buy batteries at all times so this is how the lights out indicator works thank you that's quite an accomplishment there is another picture of it plugged into the wall once again this is what i love he's made it out of cardboard perfectly good construction material very very clever um very very clever and then he's just obviously decorated it and then here is what some of the components look like and uh, we can see all the different parts the leds once again great great job of engineering plugging it in with the, the, the battery My name is Lord Christus, and I'm glad to be a gift presenter. Thank you. Okay, now, that was exciting, but now we have the real Lord Christus here. Jake, I think there was a problem somewhere. I think the video was cutting, and we could not see the entire video. The, the so, one uh, of the videos, yes. Yes, I think we could not see it, but it was functioning well. And uh, I'll try to resend them to you so that you can see the indications, the green and then the red lights. But it's, it's working well for me. I'm still using it at home and it, it's working fine for me. Working well, fine for me. Lord Christus, I talk about you all the time. I talk about people that can't easily get into our show and how we help them do it. So now everybody that, that has I've been telling about you knows I was telling the truth that you really <laughs> exist. I didn't make you up and uh, that you are just one of the most innovative uh, young men I know. So can I just ask you, what are you working on next? Uh, there is a project that is going to cost probably about, uh, let's say, 5000 And it's very expensive. It's going to be an industrial device, an industrial machine, very, uh, very heavy. But the idea is complete. What I'm waiting for is to get together uh, the money and the resources. Without giving away too much information, can you just high level tell us what that device will do? Okay, so uh, the idea is that just like the trucks that carry sand from the companies to homes and building sites, the trucks have to lift the back so that it falls the sand off. I mean, it has to pull everything down with hydraulics. So the problem is that if we have a low level height, that means the truck cannot enter that place and then pour away the sand. So this device is going to get inside everywhere and then get, it has to empty the truck without necessarily lifting everything. It just put everything back smoothly. So that's how it's going to work. And then the other one is to help very old people who cannot walk and then it, it will just like assist them to walk and also pregnant women, yeah, a lot of things. I think there are about 130 in my book. So we are going to work on them gradually. So by the year, by, by, by the time they, this year ends, I'm hoping to complete about 13 of them. And I'll send of them to you before the year ends. Hopefully, they're going to complete it. For now, we have about 130 devices to work on. The only problem is time and resource, but I know hopefully it's going to get good one day. Yes. And hopefully somebody will see this video. If somebody wanted to reach out to you, is there a, a way to do that or should they contact us? and we contact you, what's the best way? Yes, I think we can pass it to you. Okay, so anybody interested in helping Lord Christus, I strongly support that idea that you should. And you could just write to the global innovation field trip at gmail.com and we'll be happy to pass the information on to Lord Christus for you. It's so good to see you in person. I, I can't wait for you to come back again. When, how, how long is, school and session how long does the university go um it's it's about four months in the semester so four more months no we have about no we, we completed the semester in uh, october okay 
Oh, good, because our next gift is October 15, 16. So maybe you'll be available still. He might, he's having, wait a minute, he has to do well in school first. Okay. Yes, school I told him that. I said, invention is second. School has to be first. Yes. Well, yes, thank yes, you very I, much. Yeah, I still can make time for everything. <laughs> I can't go without gifts. Gifts has to be part of everything. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Lord Christus. Thank you, too. Yeah.